How many motors and propellers a multi-rotor quadcopter drone requires? And the second one is how many arms a quadcopter multi-rotor drone needs to fly? Think about it for a moment, I'll wait. If your answer for the first question is 4, then of course you are correct, because the quadcopter drone requires 4 motors and 4 propellers. If however your answer to the second question was also 4, then well, mm -mm. Technically, you are not really correct. Quadcopters with four arms are the most popular configuration, but it's nothing really that prohibits you from having a quadcopter with only three arms. What I want to show you today is my Y4 quadcopter. It has four motors, three arms, and guess what? It flies. Let me show you what's what and how to set up Y4 if you want to build one yourself. And that, boys and girls, is my Y4 quadcopter. As you can see, comparing to the standard quadcopter, the only practical difference is in the back section, because the front section is virtually the same. Two arms, two motors, everything 100% standard. The difference is in the back side of the build. There is only one arm extending from the rear and it's long enough so that both propellers, bottom and the top one, clears the frame and all the components. And like you probably figured that out already, one motor is installed on the top of the frame and the second one is installed on the bottom. But the rotation direction is just like in the standard quad. This is motor number one, this is motor number three and they are rotating in exactly the same direction that they would be rotating on the standard quad X. Clockwise on the top and counterclockwise Likewise on the bottom, but internally everything is absolutely standard. There is the HD camera in the front, flight controller and the ESC in the middle, Cadix Vista in the back, Express LRS receiver and of course the antenna for the Vista. Plus because I wanted to have some clearance for the rear downwards propeller, I also added small legs and the camera mount which in this case, mounts the Cadix peanut is on the tower. And one of the kind, 100% unique Pyrx Mini Y4 is here. And you know what? I like how it looks. Plus, at the moment, this is the only frame like this in the whole world. At least the one I know of. So, does it fly? Yes. Does it fly better than the traditional quadcopter with four arms? Oh, uh, no. The main reason that it doesn't fly as well as the traditional quadcopters with four arms, it's because the roll authority is not symmetric. Only the front motors are capable of controlling the roll. And that means that any control on the roll also most probably will affect the pitch stability as well. On top of that, because only half of the motors, the two ones in the front, are capable of controlling the roll, the roll authority is roughly half of the one that the traditional quadcopter has. That means you need a special tune for roll axis. Most probably you need much more P and D gains for all. But even if you will do it right, then still effect on the pitch when you do the roll will be noticeable. It might not be a tragical flight performance, but well, the traditional quadcopter will just fly better. However, let's be honest, it's one of the kind. None of your friends has the Y4, especially a 3-inch Y4. If you want to shine with something unique, then absolutely, Y4 is something 
for you. If you would like to order this frame, the link to the Armatan production when you can do so is in the description. If you would like to see how to set up Y4, I will show it to you in just a moment. I will be using iNav, but the setup in case of the beta flight is basically the same. You only will have to apply a special mixer. But applying special mixer in iNav is simpler, so well, let's just go with iNav. In the meantime, do me a favor, hit the like button and write in the comments on what you think about the experimental drone like this. Yay? Nay? Or just interesting experiment that really has no future at all. The only two practical differences between the quad and the Y4 configuration are in the mixer and to some extent in the PID gains. Let's begin with the mixer. Y4 will work perfectly with the standard Quad X preset when you change two things. For the motors that are in the back, the ones that are on the same arm, one on the top, one on the bottom, there is no roll authority. So just for the motor one and motor three, which I have in the back, I just had to set the roll authority to zero over here and over here. The second place when we might do some adjustment is the roll proportional gains on the PID controller. Because only one motor on each side is capable of controlling roll, those motors will have to fight stronger to have at least similar roll authority. This is why you will have to get more proportional gains on roll. In my case, I almost had to increase the proportional on roll by a hundred percent. But everything else in terms of the setup is absolutely the same. And of course, in case of the beta flight, the setup of the mixer will be slightly more complicated. But one more time, this is the only practical difference. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPU University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying! <laughs>